Well, hello everyone, I got another Bible review for you. This is something really special. This is an SB95 uh, that our friends in Sundervan have sent me for uh, an honest review. And this is where you're gonna get an honest review. This is uh, a thin line, a large print, and it comes with this um, beautiful buffalo leather hide cover uh in you can see the, the the grain is amazing and it's a i'd say it's a kind of petrol blue type of color uh which is very uh, uh popular among uh, bible fans uh, they're looking for this color very often and it's hard to get so this is an amazing addition in that special color this one comes with one two three four and five raised hubs on the spine with a very nice gold stamping for Holy Bible, the New American Standard Bible, and Sonderband's logo. As you can see, it's also perimeter stitched all around and uh, also matching the color of the cover. And in the interior, we're gonna find that we have a leather lined uh, cover. I don't know exactly what material this is. I could not tell you. It looks like it's synthetic liner and it is tapped into the text block so that the hinge right here is not gonna crack, it's not gonna break. Uh, that's where most Bibles uh, tend to, to break, is right here uh, because of the pressure, the usage. And, um, and this one comes also with an amazing uh, golden gut line around the perimeter too, very well executed. We have a stamp here saying Buffalo Leather Cover to let us know that that's indeed what uh, the cover is, it's Buffalo and uh, it's very soft and flexible as you can see here, I like that. It's not heavy, it's actually pretty light and we're going to see what the interior looks like. We have our presentation page with, uh, oops sorry. We have here, I think it's a biblical text. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, 105. And this is indeed a thin line Bible, large print, 1995 edition. Just gonna stop there for a second so you can read all the specs of this edition. You can pause for a moment if you want to take a look at that. Now on the table of contents, we have here the foreword, the preface, principles of the translation, explanation of general format, abbreviations and special markings, and the books of the Bible, of course. And down below we got miracles of Jesus, parables of Jesus, perspectives from the Bible, prayers of the Bible, and promises from the Bible. I think these are very uh, neat to have in a Bible like this. This one comes with actually two ribbons, I didn't mention that. Double sided satin, one navy blue and one gold. I really like this uh, combination of colors. And uh, if you see, the edge is also gold with blue art gilt underneath. I like this blue. It's not too faint and it's not too bright. I think it's just right with gold on top of it. Very neat. Now this Bible is very uh, it's pretty it's new basically having me using this uh, so it's a bit stiff right here on the hinge but that will soften up as you use it. It lays flat, kind of, wants to lift up a little bit here in the hinge, but that's normal for this type of uh, 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 Bible, it's not, see, it wants to go up, but it doesn't close, it stays open, see that? So let's take a look at the font, as we can see this is a nice and dark print, a large print, Easy in the eye, it's a verse by verse format, that means that each verse starts in its own line. 
and it comes with some footnotes on the bottom. Not all the footnotes from translators are here, but some of them, which is uh, also helpful to have. And uh, as you can see, the paper is a bit thin, but that makes this Bible a thin line. But because this is line matched, which means that each line matches the line on the back, any show through or ghosting won't be too distracting in your reading. So no complaints there. The paper is decent, but it's not premium paper. So don't expect to be this a premium paper because it isn't. All right. I have to say that uh, it could be improved. It feels a bit, uh, it's not smooth, but it's easy to turn. I have no, see, I have no problems to turn this paper because it's thin, which is a good thing. Now, this is a red letter edition. So if we go to the New Testament, say, let's go to the book of Matthew or Mark. Here we go. We got a red letter, dark and consistent, which I think if you're going to do dark, if you're going to do red letter, this is the way to go. I really like this red, actually. What say you? Isn't that an amazing dark red? I really think this is a very, very well executed red letter. Look at this. I really like this. It's very neat. It comes with some little designs, like here on top. You're going to see the little design there. It's like a double cross kind of thing. So, I think this is a very nice Bible to read. It's very portable. It's lightweight. I like uh, the little uh, design. I like the gold. I like the blue under gold. I like the actual color scheme. I think it's nice. My only complaint would be paper. The paper could be premium paper instead of this regular paper. It's not a bad paper, and don't get me wrong, but it's not premium paper. And for a Bible of this quality, this leather and these specs, I would, uh, even the print is nice. I would have tried to get a, a, a better quality paper. But it's not a bad paper, don't get me wrong. It's just not premium. Now, if we go into the back, we're gonna find all this helps. Miracles of Jesus in the four Gospels. Then, in the next page. We have the parables of Jesus. Here we have perspectives of the from the Bible. What to read when? Well, that's very nice. I think this is very helpful to have in a Bible like this. You may be going around with this and you may have to share something with somebody. And here's a very quick search. And these topics. And we've got prayers of the Bible. I really like this. Prayer that comes directly from the Word of God. Imagine praying this over ourselves. That would be powerful, wouldn't it? And promises from the Bible. Just going to take a quick look here. If you want to stop it. 
to read this and even take notes to stop the video and uh... so we got a note regarding the type I mentioned before this is a specific typeface that was uh, commissioned by Sondervan uh, we have here Klaus Krog and Heidi Rand Sorensen. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. These guys are from Denmark and they are very, very, very popular now. They create these fonts uh, for different Bibles, uh, even the um, King James and New King James done by Thomas Nelson. They have created amazing fonts. So, this is another one. And then we got Sonderburn's maps, full color, in this uh, glossy type of cardstock paper. It's 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 thick, but it's not too thick, so it's also flexible. It's not. I like colorful maps like this, to be honest. makes it easier to me to distinguish and what I'm looking at when you have all this plentiful all these colors look at that that's such a lovely map and we go here Jerusalem in the times of Jesus and we come to the end of this Bible there's an ISBN in case you want to take a look at it I'll put this in the description box down below a direct link to it too so if you are interested in buying this I'll make it easier for you Look at that. It's very smooth. I like the, 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 the texture of this leather. It feels durable. And the measurements of this Bible, I was going to do this with my ruler. It's about 24 and a half tall. By 16 and a for around 16 and a half wide and we have about two and a half thick roughly so that's how thin this Bible is these are the measurements and uh, to be honest I like this color I like this Bible, it's portable, it's lightweight, it's verse by verse, it's large print, readable, it doesn't have references and it doesn't have a lot, whole lot of uh, footnotes, it has some of them, but I think this is a practical Bible to have around to, you know, to bring with you uh, in the car or when you go out for a walk and uh, it's portable, I say it's portable, it's not heavy. It's durable. I would have improved a little bit the quality of the paper. It's not bad. It's thin. Easy to turn. It's line matched which helps with uh, that ghosting that you can see right there. Even though my camera makes it look worse than it really is to the naked eye. But overall is a very nice edition I recommend it definitely so that's all for today I hope this was helpful to you and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up don't forget to share it with others and I'll see you soon in another Bible review rebind until then Shalom <laughs>